good afternoon everyone I'm Widyawati in this talk show jaringan Good afternoon everyone, I'm Widyawati. In this talk show, we will discuss about education during the pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic uh, has changed the pattern of education. Initially, the teaching and learning process was carried out face-to-face. But now, the teaching and learning process is carried out uh, remotely by utilizing the internet network, as well as information and communication technology. Online learning is learning system without face-to-face directly between teachers and students, but learning is carried out through the internet network. This is a big challenge for teachers because in condition like this, teachers uh, are also required to be able to manage design learning media in such a way uh, as to achieve learning goals and to prevent or and or anticipate a student boredom in learning uh, the online model. In terms of benefits, the implementation of distance learning has set the education process in the country toward digitalization. But on the other hand, uh, it also creates obstacles for areas experiencing internet access uh, constraint uh, and the absence of a device due to the low economic level of the community. The implementation of distance learning is quite difficult to do. In addition, uh, the teaching and learning process that requires hands-on practice also encounters obstacles. To find out more about online learning, we will uh, present our guest star today, Aniza Nur Islamiyati, as an education observer. Okay, Aniza, please come in. Hi. Hi, Aniza. Hi, Media. Please, uh, introduce. I'm good. How about? You? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Please introduce yourself, Aniza. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, Widya. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Aniza Nur Islamiyati as an education observer or an education um, expert. Nice to meet you, Widya. Okay, Aniza. As you know that our country is currently experiencing a COVID-19 outbreak which has changed everything, uh, especially in terms of education, which was previously offline to online. Do you think uh, that online learning is uh, the best solution uh, during this pandemic? All right. Uh, thank you for uh, asking me, Vidya. Uh, as we know that it is such a common problem, as such a common topic that people were talking about online learning during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And if you are asking me, that online learning is uh, the best solution or not, I should say yes, totally yes. Why? Uh, We couldn't uh, force to do our activities normally in this situation, meeting uh, people directly face to face, because it it makes uh, the virus could spread massively and it's getting uh, this pandemic nastier. There's nothing solutions besides we should do our activities with its limitations uh, through online and at our home. Uh, Do you think that online learning is effective enough? What can a teacher do to make online learning effective? Um, If I could say that this online learning isn't effective enough, but uh, efficient efficient enough, why? Because uh, we know that online learning didn't uh, take much our time to go outside, to go to the school, to go to the campus, and it reduces the transport uh, costs and many more. So uh, I say uh, it is efficient enough. And why the online learning isn't effective enough? It is because it takes a lot of anxieties for the students, for the teachers, for the parents. And when the students are studying at home, they are not focused enough on what they are uh, learning about or what they're uh, 
they are studying about what uh, the teachers talking about what the materials that the uh, teachers deliver about and there are a lot of distractions with whether they they want to to play the online game they want to play uh, outside with their uh, friends they want to scrolling the social media and many more and there uh, the student, uh, the students are getting uh, lazy and easy to feel sleepy, and also the teachers uh, worry about the material uh, doesn't deliver perfectly, and the teachers have a limitation in teaching online because they're not prepared enough for that for, uh, for this online learning, uh, and also uh, not all the parents are um, can operate uh, can operate the technology that well and cannot guide their their children all the time because they also have to go to to work and the most problem makes this online learning is an effective is internet data the students and also the teachers have to pay more for the uh, for the internet costs besides those things i mentioned the teachers could make the, the online learning more effective by deli by delivering the material more attractive more fun, more interesting to make the students uh, more excited and happier when they're uh, studying, like that. Uh, what is the most significant difference between online learning and offline learning? Of course, the atmosphere. Meet the, uh, meet the friends, meet uh, the teachers in class, talking to each other, laughing uh, together eating together and studying together are the most uh, wonderful thing and giving uh, the students motivation to uh, study in class. While if they are learning through online, they're just seeing uh, the monitor and that was such a horrible thing, you know? And they are, uh, they are lack of motivation because they feel bored. Just sitting on that chair in front of uh, the monitor day by day, which uh, which could uh, be damaging damaging their eyes, of course. Also, with the understanding about the material which is delivered by the teacher when they are that when they uh, were learning in the class, and uh, they will more understand it because they were looking to their uh, teacher's explanation directly and immediately ask if they uh, didn't understand about the material. Meanwhile, in online learning, it was a different thing. Uh, does this online learning cause the mentality of the student to be much changed? What uh, impact did the student have? Yes, of course. Since they feel bored, tired, anxiety, uh, unsafe, missing their friends at, at school, want to play together with their friends, and they feel restricted with those limitations. And those things could make their mental health uh, and motivation to study is getting dropped. And the worst is it could make them depression. It would be getting worse if the parents and the teachers are not controlling and motivating the students to keep uh, enthusiastic to, uh, to study even though through uh, the online learning. And in this worst situation, the role of uh, parents is needed to keep motivate their children, to accompany their children, to control their children, to guide their children, and uh, keep in touch with their children to avoid the bad impact of uh, internet in this digital era. As we can see that uh, kids nowadays are lack of attitude as the bad uh, impact of the internet. We found the children and nowadays often say uh, the necessary, the, the harash, the, the dirty words and doing the actions that isn't allowed and they feel that what they are they are doing and what they are saying is right since they are uh, not uh, what is it not uh, reproved by their parents uh, can online learning like this develop student talent and interest without uh, being accompanied by teachers I wouldn't say that this online learning uh, could detain the students in developing their talents and interests because even though we now live in uh, in many limitations, we have to still make the students or the children evolving, evolving their uh, talents and uh, interesting interests, of course. 
uh, they should be guided in developing uh, their talents and their interests. We should facilitate them, give them a space, uh, support what they uh, like about, support what they, what they want to do. Don't ever give uh, them a pressure, let them free, but uh, we still guide them to make them still in the line and they could still develop their talents and interests. Okay, uh, has the quality of education itself decreased or not because of this online learning? Sadly, yes, but not at all. The online learning has affected the quality of education since the students became passive, uh, not productive, still confused, could, couldn't think creatively, restricted, and they think they couldn't develop their skills their talents and also their uh, interests. Besides, it is supposed to to be known. Online learning isn't a reason, online learning isn't a problem, and it is supposed to be nothing in relation between online or uh, offline learning and the quality of uh, education itself. Because learning or studying could be everywhere and anywhere. Also, the students, the teachers, and uh, the, the parents should be adaptive to the global uh, transformation and the utilization of technology should be maximized to support its transformations. Okay, one more question for you, Anissa. Uh, <laughs> is there a solution for us to keep learning even though uh, we are online? If you are starting to feel bored on studying on learning, looking for your own enjoyment, don't push yourself too much and take a rest if you are tired. Okay, thank you, Anissa, for uh, your answers. Uh, it turns out that online learning has its positive and negatives. Don't forget to always take care of your health, wear a mask, and keep your distance, okay? Because our time has run out. Thank you for attending this talk show, Anissa, and thank you for all the audience. Send our, uh, our warm greetings to the people you love, we say goodbye and see you. Thank you. Thank you, Vidya, for the opportunity. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you, too.